G'day guys, Shane here. This month, Google started distributing its new quarterly rollout for the Pixel smartphones, bringing new features with photography, notifications, and security. On this channel though, what we're interested in is the photography, specifically the astrolapse photography that it's now capable of doing on the three, four, and five Pixels. It's Five Minute Fridays, let's get into it. Astrolapse photography is something that we haven't really heard of before. It's something where you get astrophotography and you get time-lapse photography and you put them together and you get astrolapse photography. Time lapses, well, you probably already know what they are. That exists as a function that exists on most cameras these days, most smartphone cameras these days. And it is a, a, a series of shots that turns into a video of a predetermined time by the user. So you could start shooting this thing and it takes a photo every second or two and it combines all those photos into a video. And it makes it like a really fast moving video. And it works really well with things like sunsets where, where something is not moving clouds are moving so they contrast against each other there's a stationary subject moving subject and it works really really quite well in the astrophotography aspect of this as well with the pixels they're just so bloody good at it they're good they're easy to use and they take sensational photos you can make astrolapse photography right now without even a pixel you can go out there and using uh, any sort of smartphone that takes photographs of the night sky the stars in the night sky and you take a series of photos evenly spaced apart throughout the night and you combine them in a video editing program on your computer. Bring them in frame by frame and set them up as frame by frame and it looks like a very fast video through the night. It works really well. Doing it that way can be a bit of a pain. There's a lot of work involved in doing that. This astrolapse feature that's come to the pixels, well, it kind of takes all that away and it makes it, well, what pixels are known for. They take really good photos of the night sky and they do it really well and easy. Like night sight photography and astrophotography, the astrolapse is best used in a location that has clear skies and there's no light pollution. I would always recommend that you use a tripod with this because the tripod, the camera will sense it's on a tripod and let you shoot for longer. The longer it shoots for, the better this astrolapse is going to be. The way it works is automatic. You place the phone on the tripod when it's dark enough, you use the night mode and it will automatically go into astrophotography mode. You push the button and that's it, you wait for four minutes and six seconds if it's dark enough. You just wait. And this is the best part. Once it's done, it's done. You don't need to do anything else. The astrolapse photo is done. You've got an astrophotography photo and you've got an astrolapse video done with the one push of a button. Love that about the pixels. It's really simple to do. When you go, Shane, how on earth is that possible? Well, you've got a four minute and six second photo. So I was taking a series of 15 photos of 16 seconds exposure to make that single astrophotography photo. That's the way the pixels work. It takes a series of photos and it stacks them all together, low ISO, so there's not much digital noise at all, pushes them together, nice and sharp tack photos of the stars, the Milky Way, the galactic core, and you get photos that just look amazing. What it does though with this astrolapse is it takes those series of photos, those 15, 16 second exposure photos, it puts them side by side. And what you've got then is a video of a time lapse. It's as simple as that. It's always been there and now we can see it. The only downside that I've seen so far is that that four minute photo results in about a four second video. It's really not long at all. It's kind of cool and it's nice and sharp, but it's really not that long at all. We can make it longer though. And if you want to make it longer, I'm not gonna lie, there's a bit more work involved. So to make a longer video, you're going to need three things. First thing you're going to need is an app on your Android, on your Pixel phone called Intervalometer. It's available in the Play Store right now. It's going to let you set up a shutter button to take a photo. It's going to superimpose itself over the app of the camera. It's going to superimpose itself and it's going to push that shutter button for you. And what you need to do is set up the interval for the Pixel for four minutes and six seconds. I tend to set it so that it's going to take a photo every 260 odd seconds. So it gives a little bit of a break between the last photo finishing and the next photo starting. So 260 seconds, but it'll push the button. 260 seconds later, it'll push it again. And then depending on how many photos you want, because you tell it how many photos you want, say 400 photos, it's going to do it 400 times. At the end of the day, you're going to have 400 photos, astrophotography photos, which are going to be mint. But what else you're going to have, and this is the kicker, is 400 four second long astrolapses. The second thing you're going to need is a power bank. This thing is going to be out there all night on a tripod taking photos of the stars and it's going to drain the power. It's because it's taking so many photos, 
all night long. So you're going to need a power source for this thing. And I just take a power bank, I've got a link in the description of the one that I use, put it out there, set it up, charge power bank, charge phone, and it will go all night, no problem. Third thing you're going to need is an editing app, a video editing app on your computer. You can do it on your phone as well. There are many free ones that you can get for Windows, for Mac, for your phones, for Androids, for iPhones. There's free ones that you can get in there, bring them all in, bring the, uh, the duration, the frame rate down of those photos, of those videos, and it will make nice, quick time lapse. And they will go a lot longer than four seconds, and it will look smooth as silk. And that's it guys, you don't need to do anything else. It is literally as simple as that. If you enjoy this sort of video and you want to learn more about this sort of photography that we do in this channel, subscribe to the channel and you'll see two videos that I do each and every week all about small sense of photography. That's it for today guys, I'll catch you next week. See you later.